shows a parallel between commas or a parallel between ideas and even clauses. Let's break down some of these. She spends her leisure time hiking, camping, and fishing. You're not going to say hike, camping, fish. No, because then that could be used as verbs. They all have to be ing, ing, ing. Okay, are you going to see this in structure? Absolutely. Are you going to see this in written expression too? Master this, which I believe this is one of the easier ones, and you're going to go on to glory. All right, so here we go. He changed the oil. Okay, so we're talking about the past participle. He changed the oil, checked the tire pressure, and filled the tank with gas. These are verbs or participles of purpose. So you see how it says change, check, and filled with EDs. That's a parallel. Now, here we go. Nancy plans to either study medicine or major in biology. Major is often used as a noun. However, in this sentence, study medicine, major in biology. Two verbs. We're showing the action. Verbs of purpose in regards, in regards to what Nancy plans on doing. All right. Now, Nancy plans to study either medicine or biology. That is being used. As, those two are nouns. Medicine and biology. All right. So this is a very quick breakdown of parallel structure. So let's look at a couple of these. All right. Example question. San Francisco has a pleasant climate. Now, San Francisco has a pleasant climate. Adjective noun. Yeah. Space and many Fascinating neighborhood. So a noun obviously can end in A-N-T and it can also end in I-N-G. Yeah. So what is the easiest answer? A, exciting scenery. B, has exciting scenery. C, that the scenery is exciting. Or D, the scenery is exciting. A, because A. Because what? Exactly. Adjective <laughs> noun. Do not try to fucking mix it up. Okay? Excuse my language, but... You don't got to overthink. You can run through these questions real quick. We ain't, we don't need an extra adjective. We don't need an extra verb. We don't need to switch things around. You need to just know adjective now. Yeah. Let's do another one. Insects provide many beneficial services such as, mm -hmm. now we don't know what it is, so don't try guessing. Just look at the next part, comma, breaking down dead wood, comma, and pollinating plants. So we have ing followed by a noun. ing followed by a noun. So what is the best? A, they condition soils. B, to condition soil. C, condition in the soil. Or D, soil condition. Which one is the best answer? C. Excellent. Conditioning the soil. All right, Pete, that's how you kick ass. Oh, we are on fire. 